Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hi, teacher, Hi, yes. Good evening, good evening teacher. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Teacher. Good evening. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Everything all right? Okay, welcome to classes. I hope everybody's fine. This is an opportunity to learn, so we gotta get started. I hope everybody is fine. Everybody's okay. It will be very glad to meet everyone. So get ready to introduce yourself. Get ready to present your information. But as a matter of formality, I will get started and I will get to share the screen and the presentation that we have for today. Of course, I'm happy you can be here, all of you. So today we get started with this module of intermediate four. So this is, yes, the level intermediate and the module number four. So I hope you're all fine, you're all okay. So my name is Blanca Portillo. And today on the first session, it's on the September the 25th of 2023. So this is my information, my general information, academic studies. I've got a bachelor's degree in English. Uh, I participated in the exchange program with the American embassy. So I got this information sort of in Spanish, my uh, ex expertise in teaching the language, okay, for more than 12 years in Programa Empresarial. So I've been teacher also of English in different programs. So this is my personal information. This is my background information regarding uh, academic and working experience. If you have any question, you may ask. You are allowed to do it. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. Anyways, you will have to talk about yourself as well. Right, so start getting ready. Tell us about your experience about your expectations of the course and your classes, your experience learning the language as well, okay? So this is briefly that I've worked uh, different programs, all right? I think I should be reminding this, but if you're being in this program, you already know about the guidelines to be participant in this uh program, okay? So it's very important that you fulfill with all the assignments and evaluation. So it is necessary for you to have 80% on the assignments, uh, homework and evaluations, okay? For the course to be approved. And then um, the homework also it's on the platform that you already have the links. Then you have also that, let's say every week, because this, I mean, yeah, this level intermediate goes for five weeks. We start today, we start tonight, and you have to have like every week finish one of the units. I think there is one unit that's a little bit delayed because we have five weeks, but by the last week, you must be done. So you have two midterms as well. So we can also take a look at the platform in a little while. We'll do that, okay? And of course, the ending of this course, if nothing, I think there are no holidays in between, so we can just go ahead and finish, right? So you also have the, the manual in the platform so you can download it, right? Okay. 
Well, before I go on, before I continue, probably I will share the, let me see. Yeah, for the ones that probably are not really familiar with this yet, I will share the screen for you to be able to see your platform. This is what your platform looks like. And this is mm -hmm. the manual. This is the manual. You can download it from here. So it's a student manual for the intermediate four. You can download it here. Mm -hmm. Or you can use it even from online. Mm -hmm. So you have all the content that we're going to be studying on this manual. Okay. So you also have your course and the activities that you have per module. So we get started and yeah, practically these are the four sessions. Okay, every session has different assignments, different tasks. Of course, tonight, the first, yes, the first session will be to talk about advantages and disadvantage of distribution channels, right? So this is practically. And of course, after that, you have some assignments, right? Some activities that you gotta solve. You see? And so on. Right. And that it's for all the course, right? So this is what your platform looks like. This is this where you can find the student's manual. You click on it and you can perfectly download it. Personally, I recommend you to be in class from a computer. I know sometimes circumstances are difficult and you are not able to connect from a PC, from a computer, from a laptop, and you are from uh, connected from a cell phone. I mean, the device, it's good for listening most of the time, but here, as a student or as a participant, I mean, as a student of another language, as a participant of this course, you are required to participate actively, okay? At all times, because that's the idea, to practice as much as possible, to share screen, to share knowledge, to share resources, because that's how we get to develop some fluency and some proficiency in the language, right? So my advice is that you connect from a PC and in extreme situation, if it's not possible at all whatsoever, then you can connect from a, from a cell phone, it's fine. But it doesn't give you enough possibilities to interact as the computers give you the possibility to interact, okay? Maybe I'm talking too much and you are already uh, ready to introduce yourself. No problems. I will take the attendance first and then you will introduce yourself. All right. Be ready to tell us a lot of information about yourself. Let me see. I'm going to be switching from time to time for screens because I get it would be very nice. OK, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I know not all of you are in conditions of turning on your computers. I mean, turning on your, your cameras on your computers or your cell phones. But it would be very nice if I have an idea of what the person I'm teaching, what the participants that I'm interacting like every single night from 8 to 10 p.m. could show us or let us know what he or she looks like. Because, I mean, you can perfectly see me and this is me. It's not a robot talking to you. And I see Francisco, I see Carla Ivania, and I see Carlos Alberto, some pictures. But the rest, I only see names. At least a photo. But if you can turn on your camera and we can see the person behind that device who is talking, who is participating, unless that you are on a bus, unless that you are not in the right place because of difficulties, it's okay. But if you are in your house, you look for a spot, you look for a right place to receive the classes. 
And remember, in the course guideline, it's also that you have to have your cameras on and the appropriate place for attending classes. Okay? So I would request that. As much as possible, dedicate, find, get, manage to have an appropriate place to get classes. All right. So let's have a look at the attendance. Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Hi, tell me about yourself. Sorry? Tell me about yourself. Okay, teacher. My name's Abigail Flores. I am 29 years old. I live in Sonsonate. I'm from Sonsacate. I work in Alcaldía de Sonsonate. I am two brothers. I have. I have two brothers, and my favorite thing, movie is Toy Story. Of preference, the Toy Story Four, and I, I like to pit. My favorite pit is cat. You have two pets. Cat. For the moment, I don't. I don't have cat. The cat. Uh, did did die. Uh -huh. die. In uh, April. The, um, 2000, 2000, Oh, ese me ha olvidado, pero en el 2022. 20, 22. Uh -huh. And... I'm <laughs> okay, tell me, you prefer Elizabeth? No, Abigail. Um, yes. Elizabeth. You prefer uh -huh. Elizabeth. Or, or Abigail. Abigail never or Abby. Elizabeth. It's okay. Uh -huh. sí, All right. Abby. <laughs> oh, never Abby. <laughs> never. <laughs> Tell me, right now you are receiving your class at home, at work, somewhere else, on a cell phone, on a tablet, or on a computer? In the cell phone, in occasion, in computer. Mm -hmm. Right now, on your cell phone? In, the, in my cell phone. Okay. Oh. And the reason why you are on your cell phone tonight is? Oh, stop it, please. No, it's okay. The reason why you are on the cell phone tonight is mm -hmm. why? Why are you on the cell phone? No, on, on the computer. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, prestar. <laughs> lend. Uh, lend my computer uh, my brother. Oh, your brother is using your computer for homework. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And on this profile of Zoom on your cell phone, you need to set a photo, okay? Okay. Because when you are on the computer, it's easy. But on the, on the cell phone, mm -hmm. sometimes I only see your name and I don't see your your look, your physical sí. appearance. Yes? Mm -hmm. I need a yes. photo. All right. Thank okay. you. Nice to meet you, Elizabeth. 
Um, fine, teacher. Nice. And nice see, to meet fine, you. Fine. Fine. <laughs> sí. All right. Great. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Evening. Present. Hello. Tell us about yourself. Hello. Hello. Please. Can you tell us about yourself? Can you explain ah. briefly about yourself? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Atilio Castillo. Um, uh, I work in Claro El Salvador. I live in, in Aguachapan City. Uh, I'm from Aguachapan. Uh, I like to play soccer. Uh, my favorite food uh beans or do you say frijoles beans beans no mm -hmm. beans um uh this is to meet you nice to meet you atilio claro el salvador in aguachapan yes 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 nice we have elizabeth from song sacate in atilio from aguachapan from far 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 away people nice very nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you. right. The next person is Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present teacher. Hi. Nice to meet you and tell us about yourself. Nice to meet you too. Uh, okay. My name is Elizabeth. Most of my friends uh, call me Stephanie, but you can call me Elizabeth or Stephanie. I'm 25 years old. I live in San Salvador. Mm, what more? <laughs> Anything. Any facts about yourself, your studies, your work, your family? Um, I have two siblings. I like cats and dogs. I have one dog. Uh, his name is Tuto. Mm -hmm. And where do you work? Uh, Grupo Eje. What is that? Uh, it's a company about support um, installations. <laughs> yes. Installing what? Uh, systems. Mm -hmm. Okay, computing systems. Yes, computer systems. Oh, wow. So do you go out from San Salvador or you just work in San Salvador? Just working on San Salvador. All right, nice. So I think the next person on the list must be your colleague. Emerson uh, yes. Alexander yes. Lopez. Yes. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. And I think your colleague is not here. All right. Emerson. Oh, you're here. Hello. Yeah, I'm currently arriving at home. All right. I was driving. Oh, no problem. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Emerson. I'm 39 years old. I live in San Salvador. Where I, I have a, well, also as my co worker, Stephanie, I have a pet. In my case, I have a cat. Her name is Miller. And also work in the Grupo Eje as a technical support to different uh, retail stores. Nice. So where is the company or the main office located? Well, they, they only have one, one office. The main office is in San Salvador, nearby Estadio Cocatlán. Oh, really? Okay, good. Nice. Nice to meet you as well, Emerson. Nice to meet you too, teacher. All right. So the next person will be Fernando Jose Garcia. Something is happening to your microphone. Yeah, I think now, yeah, we hear you. Okay. 
Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Fernando Garcia. And I'm 25 years old and I'm an informatic engineer. I work at the UW of the UCA and I work as a data analyst in the processing of survey data. I live in San Salvador. I have one pet, it's a pit bull. <laughs> the truth is he's very kind, so I know that the people know people like a dangerous dog or something like that, but he's yeah, not true. like people <laughs> think. <so. laughs> and I got like four years without receiving any class. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I think I can do it well, I uh, hope. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And I want to improve my English level, so I hope we spend a good time here with everyone. Very nice. Well done. Well done. Okay. Don't be afraid. Everything is going to be <laughs> all right. <laughs> I know. I know. It's it's kind of interesting to find computing engineers who like English. <laughs> most of the engineers don't. <laughs> okay. True. Nice. All right. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Good night. Hey. Good evening. My name is Francisco Ernesto Acuña. I live in Sonsonate, Sonsonate Center. I work in the municipal mayor office of Sonson. My job is to install video sur surveillance system. I am computer technician. I also connect uh, a uh, laptop. I'm going to work extra. I do it through my cell phone. I have the cherry seats. Your arms. Nice to meet you. Thanks. <laughs> so you are installing the system to supervise the community. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hey, so Vanessa, me here. Hazel? I see no response from Hazel, though I see her name on the screen. Maybe if something happens if there are inconveniences you can report through the chat okay well we, we should also have a group on whatsapp right i think i i, I need to join as well so hazel is connecting her audio hello teacher hi good evening hi. we would like to know about yourself Yes, hey, um, my name is Hazel. I live in Mexicanos, San Salvador. Um, I work in, in La Hipotecaria. It's, a, it's like a bank. Um, I don't have any pets, but I like the cats. I prefer the cat um, dogs. <laughs> and, uh, I like... Uh, Running before the work, I I got to the running. Yes, oh, and nice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay, this is your first time receiving classes, or you have been participating in these groups before. I participate in the. Yeah. Uh, in the other groups all right but right. all the people you see here are new partners i don't know i just three four people from the last group yes all right who are they 
Carla, eh, Ernesto, Francisco y Elizabeth. And Elizabeth. Okay, so you are familiar with them. Yes. <laughs> nice. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Not connected. Not connected. Oh. Thank you. Julissa Jamilet. You have Julissa either? No? My goodness. Carla Ivania and Naya. Good night, teacher. Hey, hello. tell us about yourself. Okay, hello, everyone. I like to be called by my middle name, Ivania. I live in Mexicano City. And I have two dogs as pet. I have a baby of 12 years old. Well, he is a little bit now, but he is my baby. <laughs> a little more about me. I work for their their profit company as a CAPEX controller. Nice. Where is the company located? Mm, um, in Colonia San Francisco. And you travel. Yes. My goodness. Nice to meet you, Carla Ivania. So you prefer nice Ivania than Carla, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Okay, then we have Luis Javier Castillo. Luis Javier. Not connected either. Okay, Luis Miguel Corvera. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. I am Luis Corvera. I work for Claro El Salvador. I in charge to Sonsonate. He is my partner. Oh, <laughs> He's my, <nice>. my co worker. <laughs> yeah. From a different city. <laughs> and different city, yes, but the same company. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I don't have pets. Only geckos walks in my walk, <laughs> walk in my in my walk. Taking care of your walls of yeah. your house. <laughs> yes. Um. I just waiting for two two months to to take this this class. The English English Corporativo for forgot us. Really. <laughs> yeah. You were a little bit forgotten for a while. Yes. All right. Did okay. you ask what happened? Sorry? Did you ask what had happened? No, no, no. We I just waiting for for the the, the, the for company the to be open. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And before that, how many courses have you taken? Probably eight. Eight courses. Yes, eight, oh. I think. Eight or nine. I, so you started I, in, in basic, in beginners? Yes. Okay. And by that time, the courses were like every month. Sorry? Every month you took one module. Yes. Yes. But we we have some issues with the company because for the paper of information for, for insofar, this is the reason we are waiting for two months to take the class. Yeah, paperwork sometimes is not that easy. Or people make it complicated. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you for that insight. Okay, that was Luis Miguel Corvera. Oh, my dear, Esaú Garcia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Um. My full name is Magdiel Saúl Garcia, but you could call, call me Saúl. It's easier to you. <laughs> and I live in Hayaque, La Libertad, and I love this place. I work as a mechanic and repairing 
electric generators. And I usually take my class on my computer, but when I go out late of my job, I take the class by myself. On yourself. Um, yeah. That's totally, that's totally acceptable, yes. Yes, I have to drive on the Los Chorros Street every day, in the morning, in the afternoon. So you work yeah. here in the city and you travel from Hayaki? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Hayaki is so beautiful. <laughs> I've, yeah. been, I've been to Fureza and the best honey I ever bought was at Fureza. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. Incredible. I, 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 I keep telling myself, you know, like, when am I going to go back to Fureza so that I can buy real honey? Because that was real honey. Not like the one you get from the supermarket. I live close to Fureza. <laughs> I live close to Fureza. Really? Around the three kilometers. <gasps> And they sell yeah. they kind of retail different different items because that that one was produced. They say that there are some farmers that produce the honey, so they kind of retail the the, the honey and they also retail the uh, handcraft. They they bring handcraft from other towns. Mm -hmm. They have these mini shops at the entrance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, really I have cool. been studying on, online since I started. Since beginning yeah. when? Yeah, um, since okay. beginning. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. So yeah, definitely that's easier than my <laughs> Okay. Okay. No and problem. I also have a student on 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 a foundation I work for, whose name is Esau. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the okay. same name. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Manuel Alexander Vasquez. Hi, uh, teacher. My name, my name is Manuel Alexander Vasquez Rafaelano. Uh, I live in Rosario de Mora. Uh, I work on Grupo Eje about technical support. Um, I am sister engineer. Uh, I have a lot of animal. Uh, a cat, uh, one cat, uh, one cow, um, a lot of pigs and a lot of uh, fish. You have a farm. Uh, so, so. It's... You have a space. Yeah. Rosario de Mora looks beautiful. Yeah, because uh, it's more, it's very, well, uh, so near uh, about the beach and about the city and it, for me it's very easy to travel. And you travel but, through Los Planes? Yeah, every day. <laughs> and you buy pupusas every day? Man, so, so. <laughs> if you wish, if you could, if you wanted, you could, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, when I was a kid, my grandma used to travel to Rosario de Mora to visit one of my uncles. But I was a little kid, so she never took me with her. And she kept talking about this place. She was like very, very in love with this place, but I never get to, to go to that place. I've been to Los Planes so many times, but I've never been there. And so maybe once I will take the risk and drive all the way there. Oh. Yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> Thank okay. you very much. That okay. was so wonderful. Hearing from you. Okay, Marilyn Alexandra Grande. If you listen to those dogs, those are not my dogs. Those are my neighbor's dog. Mine is a tiny one, not a chihuahua, a poodle, but she's just sleeping already. All right. <laughs> so I bet Marilyn is not here. Mario Ernesto? Hi, teacher. Hey. Present. Tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Mario Ernesto. I live in the Libertad City. I work in City Hall of Libertad. I am a computer technician. I am uh, 20, 27 years old. I 
connected to a laptop per se. Only that. That's great. And that's a real photo? That's, that's, that's a real photo. That's what El Puerto looks like now. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, really? Almost finished, the new harbor. Mm, it's still under construction. Under but construction. Almost finished, right? Again? Almost finished. Almost. Almost, casi. Oh. Eh, creo que le falta mucho. Really? A lot? A lot, yes. A lot. All right. Nice. Nice to meet you. All nice right. to meet you. Then we have Ronald Alexander Vasquez. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good um, evening. My name is Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego, my full name. Uh, I'm from Santa Ana, and currently uh, I'm living in Santa Ana. Uh, I work for a financial consulting firm, Ernst Young, but I work from home office uh, the major part of the time. So uh, some days I have to I have to travel to to capital to San Salvador uh, for work, but um, the major part of the time I I can work from from home. And avoid the 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 heavy traffic in uh, in Los Chorros. So um, about talking about pets, I have one dog that is almost two years two years old, and so I'm I have uh, many expect uh, many expectations about this about this course because I'm really interested in in to improve my uh, corporate English. Very nice. Thank you, Robin. Thank you for sharing. That's wonderful. You can do home office. Definitely. You avoid getting the huge traffic. All right. Victor Noe Bonilla. I don't have been to see Victor. If you spot his name, please let us know. No. Vidal Byron Reese. No. Oh. And what did the Jesus? Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, I am good, good night, teacher. I am Valir Lazar, and I'm 23 years old. I'm an economist and I work as a research assistant in the University Institute of Public Opinion. And I also work, I, I'm, and I'm, um, I am also working as a junior research in the um, investi in the economic department of uh, Universidad Centroamericana. Um, um, about the, the this course, I'm hoping to improve my pronunciation. Okay. Only that. That's all. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Somebody I didn't mention. Somebody I skipped. Somebody that just connected later. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's everybody. Hey, me, teacher. Oh, sorry. Tell me. I connect uh, later. All right. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Roberto Celaya. I am twenty-five years old. So I'm working in a in a bam bamboo square uh, near of a customer service or Agricola Bank, right? Um actually I am I am sorry I am studying in the university uh, in Salvador of marketing international marketing. Um 
that's it uh, about my pets. I have my cat, one dog, one parakeet, <laughs> one turtle. <laughs> my my family really loves animals. <laughs> I see. Pets. Yes. Uh, that's it. All right. Thank okay. you. That's awesome. That's nice. All right. So we get to have some ideas from our participants, from our partners, from our colleagues, and that's great. All right, about this course, as I was mentioning, it is very important, you know, participation, and, I, and I'm very glad to hear that all of you managed to introduce, to talk a little bit about yourself, your personal information, your job, your family, your background, okay, the devices that you are using to get connected to classes, and that's awesome. All right, let's keep going on the presentation, as I was mentioning. Yeah, very important that we work. I mean, since most of you mentioned that it's not the first time participating in this course, you're already familiar with the way of working on the platform, I mean, on this program, right? So you have got to work. Yeah, you gotta participate, you gotta practice, you gotta ask questions and everything in the class on the online session, but you also have to complete the exercises and the exam and the evaluations on the platform, right? So I keep, you know, repeating this guidelines or this generalities from the course and the requirements okay to be on the online session right something very important is that you design the limits okay a space for learning since you are taking a class you are being part of it you are participating actively and you have to kind of designate this space for you it's Instead of going to a place, to an academy, to a university, you are setting this space in your house as much as possible, okay, to minimize the side. I mean, you got to keep this environment as, as much as possible to keep out of, you know, noise. There are some noises that definitely are unavoidable when it starts raining when somebody knocks at the door when your dog starts working but as much as possible try to designate or try to delimit and set a space for learning because that also shows your interest and in how much you are dedicating this time fully focused and concentrated for learning because if, if we we are still with the cell phone, but we are in the in the middle of the living room with our family, or everybody is talking, or everybody is watching TV, so probably we think we are connected, but our ideas, our minds are not really fully connected, right? So that's why it is important to delimit a space only for the class, okay? As you do it in your agenda, as you do it in time, you also do it with the physical space, right? And of course, I won't say this, right? Participation is out of question, okay? So as much as you participate, as much you will remember, as much you will develop your confidence, your fluency, you will remember vocabulary, you will structure your sentences properly, and that's definitely not doubt that it's mandatory, right? So these are some of the requirements I asked. Okay, as I said before, you know, this is something we're gonna be repeating for the attendance to be on time, okay, to participate. No, I mean, people say no permissions uh, available in anything, but if you have a real emergency, of course, you can send us a message, we can say, okay, what happened, right? So try to keep, yes, your mute um, bottom. But of course, every time you are requested to participate, to discuss, to practice, okay, use your cameras, use your chat, your breakout rooms. And of course, it's very, it's 
awesome, it's fantastic. When you enter to a breakout room and you see that everybody is participating, everybody is encouraging the others, everybody is uh, involved in the conversation, everybody is supporting or sharing with others so that you can give others the confidence of participation and you can also motivate the rest of the participants to improve, okay, to express, to practice, because that's what makes this course different, okay? So I will recommend you to do that. Later, I'm gonna show you what the topics that we're cover each of this week. And today, we start with the first session and the objective is to express advantages and disadvantage of direct and indirect distribution channels decide on the most appropriate distribution channel for a problem based on the information from a matrix analysis, compare distribution option to fit the product's target market, and provide suggestion to retail businesses. Kind of all the, the, the objectives that we're gonna be covering through this unit, which is unit one. So let's make a little pause right now. And I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. We have so five, yes, five to seven minutes to introduce yourself with a group of people so that you can get familiar, ask questions. Imagine somebody only say, hello, everybody. Good evening. I hope you're fine. My name is Blanca Portillo. I work here. Thank you. So you can ask more questions, okay? Oh, what are your expectations about this course? When was the last time you took this class? Well, have you ever taken classes? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, my apologies. All right, as I was mentioning, all right. If this person probably is very limited expressing ideas you can ask more questions so the person can continue expressing all right ready let's go We have to to ask something for for know the know the people, you know. Tell me about your day today. I am tired. You are tired. Why? Yes. Um. You um, had to to travel. Yes. And uh, I work as a, a software technician. Oh, a software technician. Yeah. Me too. So, we are co-workers. Yeah. And you are, you are co-worker to Elizabeth. Yes. 
Ah, that's right. But it, it was funny because when she was doing her her presentation, she already forgot about about her job. <laughs> I don't, I didn't forget it. I just, uh, I don't know how to say it. Hi, teacher. Hello, tell me. Hello, hello teacher. Can you uh, change the Atelier on me for another group? All right. Sorry. I think the other partners are not available. All right, no problem. I am happy, please. For me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you happy, Tilo? You always be happy. You say that it, you you say that it, you you work for Banco Agricola, right? Yes, Banco Agricola. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, okay. In the, okay. In the customer service area, but yeah, uh -huh. yes, the advantage that I am from a home office because yes, the traffic is is I don't know it's horrible. Uh -huh. uh, at yes. for, for example, I started to to working at eight p.m. a.m. So. From here, my house, I live near of Soyapango and Ciudad Delgado, right? Between of that. So it is, I don't know, it's difficult. But no, this... I'm in home office, it is a grand advantage. To... Yes, it's, it's too much. It's too much. So yeah. I, um, because, because I work because I work two years in Banco Agricola, I I, I used... hey. I, well, it depends. I usually go out and analyze data, or I um, 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 I have to write a small paper that uh, they publish, or um, sometimes I I just type information, I transcribe audios, no, I interviews, it depends what they need. Maybe Manuel is gone. Manuel maybe is in another room and we are alone while there. <laughs> We feel like in the office. He he doesn't continue, so I send a, a text message because mm -hmm. he said that he already called to the English Corporativo to deny his participation. But I think uh, they, I think she already have the list from the participants. Okay. Yeah. We are yeah. bothering her. We are bothering her that he will have to pay the seventy five dollars. <laughs> I hope no, because he already uh said that he would continue. Yeah, he said that today. Uh, call to the to the reception to the English corporate corporativo, but well, maybe the list doesn't. It wasn't update that list. Yeah, from maybe. The... <laughs> if not, poor of them. Poor yeah, of him. poor of him. 
uh, Madil, uh, what does um you what where where do you work? You work in in, in Santa Elena, but what is what is about your job? What what I your work, job is about is? I work in the U.S. Embassy. Oh, really? Yeah. What is that? But you 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 don't don't you don't know that don't know the teacher. Mm, no. So it's the first time you see you saw her. No. I. I don't know. You don't know her. her. No. Oh. I only have a uh, one year and a half working. Sure. Oh, okay. But but uh, it's not a little difficult your job. I mean, you have to deal with uh, with Americans there. Yeah, um, I am studying in in my job uh, in other program English with. Um, American school. Oh. American school extension. Uh, this class are presential, two hours a week. Um, I work. Oh, but only two two hours in a week. Yeah. One hour mm. on Tuesday and one hour on Thursday. Oh, okay. That's but good. it's presential, and and we uh, there are there are um five students uh, per teacher. But that's good because you know if if the less students in the class, it's a uh, it's a uh, more way way to to learn because you know uh. There is a classroom with 20, 20 or 30 students. It's very difficult to the teacher to teach each of the students. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to participate um, with the most, most students. Yeah, that's right. And also, so... All right, we're just waiting a couple of seconds because there are some groups that are still in progress. Let's just wait a little bit. We still have room four and room five. It's still open. All right, they're, they're coming. All right, nice. Please write on the chat any interesting fact that you learned from anyone you participated in the conversation with. For example, I, I found out or my partner or my classmate, um, Ronald told me that, or I learned or I found out that Fernando is an engineer, I don't know, whatever fact that you remember from any of your partners, right? One sentence on the chat, okay? Or I know that, or I talked to, I met Mario, he told me that, okay? Whatever, whatever you want to share about any of your classmates that you were discussing, that you were interacting with, told us. Oh, Vladimir told me that he has three jobs, oh my God. How can he do that? He's multitasking all the time. 
Wow, that's super interesting. Yeah, amazing. How can you handle three jobs? I learned that Fernando can cook meals like chicken soup. All right. That's a plus. That's a skill. That's interesting. Uh -huh. Very interesting facts. Very interesting. What else? What else? What else? I need that chat full of messages. I need to read a lot of messages. You need to practice your writing. Mm -hmm. I just have two participations from Fernando and from Vladimir. All right, I realized the stuff we're kind of very common English. Come on. <laughs> this is so mean, Emerson. And you you keep telling your partner stiff. All right. Roberto told me that he also has the advantage to work from home, which is very helpful. Yeah, definitely. I bet many people who have the opportunity to do home office when they have to go back to uh, their companies or to their offices, they struggle with the traffic and dealing with people on the street again, right? Okay, I took with, uh, I talked with Emerson and Miguel and we already met in the module before and I was glad to hear from them again. Oh, that's nice, you know, catching up with your partners. My colleagues heard that someone lives in San Marco. Really? Who was that, Atilio? Would be nice to know who, who lives in San Marco. <laughs> okay. I learned that Hazel is, is very, very busy every week. We all are. I, I could tell you about my job during the during the day. <sighs> yeah. But we have to get energies. We have to get batteries to be active in class, to participate and to interact as much as possible. Yeah, that's no, no way out. Yeah, I could tell you about my, uh, let's say my week jobs. I start working at 7 a.m. in the morning and I finish at five. I work the whole day with teenagers, <laughs> okay? Mm. Roberto said, I learned that Ronald visits Santana frequently and he was working at Ricola Bank some years ago. Oh, wow. Nice. What else? What else? Who else? Interesting facts. Definitely interesting facts from your partners. That's great. Uh, just join in the middle of a conversation, but they have many jobs and somebody cooks different dishes. That's great. That's nice. Yeah, good way of reporting what you learn from your colleagues, from your partners. Oh, great. I just wanted to do this a little bit more interactive. I know you've got to push yourself to practice as much as possible. And that is the idea. I was mentioning that, uh, yes, we got all these objectives throughout this first unit. Hopefully you've been able, you know, this were just some interest to start talking about and introducing yourself. But hopefully I was saying you have been able to download, to get to have your manual from the platform. If you don't want to print it, it's okay, but you need to have it. You need to have it open. You need to have access to it. If you wanna edit the PDF, no problem but as long as you do the exercises, okay? No matters what, because I have heard there are so many computer system engineers, so you know what to do, but you need to have the information available, all right? So on this first unit, you'll be able to express advantages and disadvantages of direct and indirect distribution channels. This is definitely regarding to business. So. Does your company sell products and services directly to the customers? What kind of business distribute their products to other stores? These are like the first introductory questions we are going to be focusing on, right? Does your company sell products and services directly to the customers? So think about it. 
Do you work for a company that sells products or services? Okay, what kind of business distribute their products to other stores? So we're not going to, you know, like, stop too much we're not gonna pause too much on these two questions because i want you to use them in context and to do that definitely they present a conversation pretty simple you know take a look at it you have it on your manual it's the same one so it's conversation let me just move this menu right here so Ellie and Joel are talking about options to distribute their products. Take turn practicing the conversations with the partner. I'm going to read it, just a matter of formality, but then the ones that are going to practice on the conversation, that are going to role play the conversation, that are going to discuss about the conversation, it's you. So Ellie says, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with the consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give it a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalogs at the stores. All right. It would be nice. <laughs> it would be so nice. I have a business. But really, you have a lot more experiences because you work for these type of companies or you have your own business, right? So I would say I don't have much experience in this, but... The only thing that probably I, you know, offer are my service as teacher of English, as a trainer. But besides that, I haven't been able to sell any other product. So once again, I'm going to read it and you let me know if you have any comments or any question, anything to ask about the conversation. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Okay, people do that all, all the time, right? Selling things online. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give it a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog at the stores. All right. Any question? Any comment? Everything to hear? Yes. 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 All right. And you also have some questions to discuss. But let me, yeah, I'm going to show you again. Probably I didn't include all the exercises on this slide because I didn't want it to look so crowded. But give me a second. Yes, I'm also going to, yes, include the discussion, right? So the discussion questions to this. Yeah, and discuss the answers to the questions below. How does Ellie want to expand their businesses? So they're obviously making businesses together, right? Do Joel and Ellie have experience with direct distribution channels? And what indirect distribution channel are they considering? So these are the three questions that you also have to discuss with your partners. And then I will give you this also. I mean, I can share the screenshots with the ones that don't have or haven't been able to get the manual yet so that you can discuss, okay, or to have at least a guide of information what to discuss, then you get to have the, of course, you have here the concepts and the meanings, right? So the explanation, so you can write the correct number right here, So you tell me what the correct term is for the explanations you have. First, practice a conversation, okay? And if your partner needs any assistance, any help with pronunciation or meanings of words, you can also 
tell your partners what that means, what that is, what that is used for the right pronunciation, because that's what makes us grow in the language when we are able to help others, when we're ill, I mean, when we are up to helping others by explaining, by giving definitions, by providing examples, all right? So I'm gonna share with you both the screenshots so that you can practice. Of course, I'm gonna make you work with somebody else, not with the same people. Let me see, I think it's about to rain in here. So if I get a little bit uh, stuck with the, with the signal, it's because of that, hopefully no. Hopefully no, because I hate that fight when the internet starts get, giving issues. All right, let me, yeah, let me recreate. I think I'm gonna make you work in a smaller groups because I hope everybody to participate. Let's see. Mm, well, not that small actually. Let me see. I guess, yes, this would be better. Okay, let's go. Oh. oh, okay, okay. Uh, if you want, I, I can share the the screen. Yes. Yes, yes. Just wait me a moment, please. I don't know if you... Ah, oh, that's really good. You, you are sharing. Okay, I share the screen. Okay, yes. yes. Like, uh, for I, you want, I can be, I can start. Yes, uh, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. You next. Can you see the screen? Yes, I can. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so... We are five of us, so okay. I will 
I will be Haley, who wants to be Joel. Uh, me? Okay. So, well, uh, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through throw or light store me neither maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from our partnership with our retailer store let's give it a try and if and if it is a success we can sell more from our catalog as a store at a stores the store okay so now maybe magdiel and Luis. Take a role play. Okay, I'm ready. Just define who who will be Ellie and who will be Joel. I'm Ellie for a moment. I'm going to start. Okay. I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. And if they can sell more of their catalog in a store with a, while well, they, they are making a partnership with a retail store. Um, I think it's Will Seller. Will Seller is, is like a mayorista, I think. Will Seller. Will Seller. Will Seller. Or Will Seller. I don't know how to pronounce that. There is the fourth one. This is the fourth one. And the second one. And he, Agent he, who's Yes. Sorry. It sorry. can be, it can be retailer. Me neither. Maybe we could, could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. And if it's, and if it's a success, uh, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay, so... A uh, little commercial. Luis, you are using Ubuntu Linux, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Linux Lite. Ah, uh, Linux. Yes, it's, it's very old. <laughs> uh, but I, well, Linux Lite, it does, doesn't use uh, X, XFCE or L, LXD. The, the, the what? The, the, the desktop environment, the desktop. Ah, it's the uh, X X X F X E. Ah, uh, the, the with the the mouse, right? The black mouse. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. It's, it's flash. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we'll have to answer these questions. Um, how does Ellie want to expand their business? Well, I think uh, she wants to expand it with uh, getting a, a partnership with the retail store. What do you think? I don't have another reason for that. That the only deal that for me that's the only that's the reason that she wants to expand their business. Or, well, how does Ali want to spend her business? Well, she wants to also selling uh, physical copies for her audio training program. 
situación con una minorista. Vista es. So the when the the the, the a person or business that sell goods to the public in a small quantity for use is retailer, right? Yes, minorista in Spanish. A professional who provides expert advice in a particular, a particular area such as distribution logistic that has to be consultant, consultant. Um, an individual agency, an individual agency or company that sell and manufacture products to wholesale and retail customer. I think that it might be manufacturer's representative. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys imports and sells to resellers. That thing. Well, seller is the, the, the opposite of, uh, of, of retailer. Like uh, a major mayorista in español, right? That's why it's important. So it's to recognize that. Oh, it's cool of uh, much often we call her from cheap wheat. All right, stop. All right, stop. Mm -hmm. Pick a try and if uh, we can sell more for ¿Cómo se dice? Se te oye muy trabado, Atilio. What? I didn't se, se oye muy trabado. I didn't hear what you just said. Yeah. Se oye muy trabado. Probably nine, nine, nine class, yes. Yeah. Nine, nine models. Ah, that's really good. It's, yeah. It's a large. Hello, way. teacher. You're done. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. We we practice the conversation. We ask uh, the question and we match the turns. All right. Nice. I'll be just okay. checking one more group and then we'll be turn. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I, I be here for nine months.
All right, everybody returns. Yes, right? All good. Did you find any difficulties with the words, with the vocabulary, with the conversation? Yes. Maybe with the meaning mm -hmm. of the terms. The terms, yes. Yeah, something you have to look for. If necessary, yes, you look for the translation, right? Because they are new terms for you, retailer, consultant, distributor, wholesaler, manufacturer's representative. Somehow you can match because of some keywords, let's say, yes. But yeah, if you have um, some questions regarding that, yeah, we will be able to ask. Don't worry. Give me just one second. Just need to, yes, share the screen. See what you were working on. All right. Yes, this was the second part. Let me just go to the previous one, which was the conversation. And a couple of participants to say the conversation. Let's see. Volunteers. Me, teacher. All right, we have one already. Nice. Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. All right, and Emerson. So, Ellie, it's Stephanie or Elizabeth. And yes, Emerson, you are Joel. Ready? Yes. One, two, three, go. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of her audio training program for entrepreneurs really well we we will need to check with a consultant i don't have any experience with distribution options we sell everything directly to the consumer through our line store me neither maybe uh, we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store Let's give it a let's give it a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Great. No issues with vocabulary, with pronunciation, everything all right? Did you feel confident? Uh entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Uh, entrepreneurs, okay. Yes. And there's another one. Uh, well, consumer, right? Consumers, yes. Oh, consumers, okay. Partnership with a retailer store. I think the other one, profit. How much profit, profit. we could get from partnership with a retailer store? Yes, consumer. Okay. Directly to the consumer through our online store. Okay, yeah. anything else? Okay, another, another pair. Another couple of participants more. Or should I say names? Should I pick names? <laughs> no, nah, it's okay. You can you can volunteer. It's fine. I see a couple of hands. None actually. Mm -hmm. Me too sure. All right, one. Me too sure. All right. And Luis Javier. The first one was? 
Uh, if you want, I am Ellie. Uh, Robert. Right? It's okay. okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So you can be Ellie and Luis can be Joel. All right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Okay. Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with the distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumers through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give it a try. And if it, it is a source so we can sell more from our catalogs at stores. Nice, awesome, well done. If it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog. Catalog, kind of catalog at stores. Right, well done. Okay, that was pretty simple. Is there any anything I can help you with? Was everything okay? All right, I bet. Everything is all right. Let's see. Couple of other people participation. I guess somebody wrote on the chat. Uh, I think Mario Ernesto. Having an issue at work. Give me a second, please. All right, so the question number one says, how does Ellie want to expand their business? Anybody like to answer that? Selling physical copies? No, she would like to sell I'm physical trying in. copies. Mm -hmm. Were you going to add anything else? Yes, Selena, physical copies for, of or her audio training program for entrepreneurs. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Okay, nice. Yeah, she has designed this course, right? Of training entrepreneurs, so she wants to sell physical copies of it. All right. Do Joel and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? They, they don't have, have any experience. They don't have any experience, right? Uh huh. How do you infer that they don't have any experience? They mention, right? They mention through the conversation. They say partnership with the retail store. Uh mm huh. -hmm. We could ask around, yes. We could check with a consultant, right? I don't have any experience with distribution options, right? With indirect channels. Uh huh. So maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store as well. Right. And what indirect distribution channel are they considering? A new partnership? A yeah, partnership with a retail, right? So they are seeing if that works. All right, great. Somebody already share a, let's say, a screenshot on the chat for you to see if that works. Okay, if that works for you. Number one, this is an intermediary entity in the distribution channel, the buys in bulk and sells to resellers. What would be that? What is the corresponding term? Mm -hmm. Wholesaler. Wholesaler. That's right. Mm -hmm. They yes. They buy in bulk in big quantities, right? 
Okay, an agent who supplies goods to stores in other businesses that sell to consumers. Distributor? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, those are the ones that distribute, right? Okay, a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. Retailer. Retailer. Retailer, right? So those are the supermarket, the stores where we go and buy things to consume, right? A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistic. Consultant. Consultant. Mm -hmm. That would be definitely what and, and that happens not only in that case, in different areas, right? When you want to have some professional advice, you get a consultant. All right. And an individual agency or company that sells and manufactures product to wholesales or retail customers. That was the manufacturer's representative. That's the last one. Yes. All right. Five you all, five. Did you all get it like that? Five out of five? Yes. More vocabulary included yes, now in your vocabulary love. What are new words that you have just discovered throughout this lesson? Well, wholesaler teacher. Wholesaler. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, maybe I don't know the meaning, but I understand uh, what that means, that word. Mm -hmm. Did you but, did you find that in, in a translator? No, actually no, but uh, in order to check in all the, the topic about mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. I understand that word, but I don't know what it, what it means. What it means in our language. Yeah. Yeah, for example, I don't know if you ever heard about La Tiendona. Uh, yes, yeah. that you buy in big quantities, in bulk, right? But there or are also companies, uh huh. Like uh, Price Mart, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, even though Price Mart, I don't know if, if Price Mart is a uh, retailer's. Because they sell in big quantities, but do people resell what they get from price mark? Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Man. If some people Man, buy it for business store, yeah. or for stores, right? Could be. Could be. All right. Yeah, but usually we say mayoreo, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other, any other concepts that we have added to our vocabulary log? No. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Exactly. That's the first time I heard that. Mm -hmm. it could oh, happen. Right. Imagine you want to start your own business. You want to start selling something. So you start being an entrepreneur. Yes. But no, it's not, um, what would you say? The people do our business. Como le... Emprendedores. ¿Es emprendedores o empresarios? Mm, empresarios would be company owners. Porque ellos no, no están en realmente emprendiendo. Ya son Entonces, owners. Okay. Entrepreneur say, is, is uh, you emprendedor. say, emprendedores. Uh -huh, okay. Entrepreneurship is an emprendimiento. Entrepreneurs are emprendedores. For example, if I want to start my own business, I will start my entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I try to translate right now, and the, the translate is, is empresarios. Really? <laughs> yes. Could be, I mean, Los empresarios alguna vez fueron entrepreneurs. <laughs> Así iniciaron. But usually, it's, I mean, when you are already an owner of a company, then you say company owner. Yes. Right. I have my own company. 
All right. Really? No, 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 it's a joke. Ah, I was happy about it. <laughs> I was happy for you already. <laughs> okay, nobody has experience of being entrepreneurs? It's Have you ever tried? Fear. Yes? No, I never try, but sometimes I develop different, different kind of business for other people and other people. Oh, really? You develop other people's business ideas and you don't have a, an entrepreneurship yet? No, I have fear. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> like me. I have many ideas, but I have never started. I have it's never about... set. Uh, if somebody put me in the brainstorm, I have the many ideas, but <laughs> I fear to apply to me. Just like me, just like me. I have many ideas and I have even friends that would support me with this different entrepreneur idea, entrepreneurship ideas, actually. And then I somehow get fear, you know, of dealing with money, of asking for a loan of investing on certain areas so maybe one day i will start i will start my own business <laughs> okay maybe mm -hmm. i just say maybe all right so in my yeah. case mm -hmm. my case so much entrepreneur and there are so many and distributor uh yeah that's right as well no, no. I, there's no, no space food, no <laughs> <funcionaron. laughs> really and what were your yes. ideas what kind of business ideas did you have uh, uh, a restaurant a restaurant uh, no oh, wow why didn't it work why, well, what, what do you think would happen um the competences. Administration. Administration. Administration of determination. Administration and family. Not. Not. I know. Uh, or do you say quiebra? Bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> you went bankrupt. <laughs> my brother. My brother wants to start with a similar business like that. He wants to start with a cafeteria first, oh. and then he wants to set his own restaurant. Thing is that he has some experience working in a restaurant because he used to uh, be in the states and he works for a restaurant, so he knows the business already. But he also has this fear, you know, of investing money, of asking for a loan at the bank. But hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage him to work on this business. Oh, oh. yeah. So maybe I'll support him a little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Nice experiences. Okay. As I was mentioning, yeah, definitely. Give me just one second. Just need to move something right here really quick. Oh, yeah. Right here. Let me. Mm, okay. We're done with this already. We complete it. All right. These are some um, charts to explain the type of distribution channels, right? So look at the chart and read the examples below here. The distribution channels for consumer products. The direct channel. The company producer and this, I mean, they sell to the consumer, right? So there are some businesses that just go this way direct, right? So they don't have to sell or distribute to other people. They just produce and immediately sell, right? Then we have the retail channel, the producer, get the retailer and the retailer sell it to the consumer and then the wholesale channel producer wholesale or distributor retail and then the consumer right so this is a little bit longer so i think you also have this yeah and these are the examples right so these are the 
categories, the example, yeah, categorize the examples according to the channels presented in the chart and check answers with the partner. So here we have some examples. Take a look at them, try to analyze and try to say which channel is being used, direct, retail, or wholesale channel, right? So definitely this one is the direct one. Some companies produce this and they sell their own products, right? Some others, they produce something, then they sell it to the retail and they retail it to the consumers, right? The other ones, the wholesale channel, they produce, the wholesale or distributors, and then to the retailers and the retailers to the consumers, right? Of course, I think this one get more money for the company and this one has to kind of negotiate and this one definitely more and more and more. Uh, this poor consumer pays a lot for the, <laughs> the products that were made by the first or the original producer, right? So here you have some examples. You have a couple of minutes to work on this. And these are definitely famous uh, companies that they mention or multinationals or well-known companies. Amazon, you know about Amazon, right? Amazon sells kindness to its customer through its own platform. Which method, which channel do you think has been used? Amazon to the consumer or to the customers? Uh -huh. It's the direct person. channel. It's a direct channel, definitely, right? Okay. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sell them in their stores. Mm -hmm. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sell them in their stores. Retail channel. That's the retail channel because they don't produce the things. They buy them from the producers, right? All right. Oh, from the manufacturers. Ozone Grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. Uh, Ozone Grocers is a uh... Is name of charity? a business. Name of the business. Oh. Mm -hmm. Awesome store. Awesome grocer, sorry. Supplies. A line of independent grocery stores with purchase in bulk. Wholesale channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will be the wholesale channel because they go from this to this and then right up to here, actually. Mm hmm Dell Computers sell through its own online platform or cousin. Actually, we used to have Dell in El Salvador. Do you remember? Yes. The Telefonica Towers. Now it's a bunch of call centers from other companies, right? Yeah, but that was the original building built by Dell Computers. So through its own online platform or call center. That definitely... Direct, direct, it's a direct channel. channel, right? Anybody from all the engineers, from all the system engineers we have here, do you know where the computers are assembled or where they are made in the United States? That sounds but, like the United States or yes, Korea. but um, I I think it's like it's an Asian, but in the United States distributed. Mm -hmm. And they have the the factories and companies in the states. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, because actually uh, most of the computers that came because of the Minel are Dell, right? I've seen a lot of my students carrying Dell laptops. All right. The Gap buys school fees from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. Gap buys the clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores, believe it or not. <laughs> Yeah. 
Which one? Retail, China. Retail, definitely. Yeah, unbelievable. I thought Gap made their own clothes. <laughs> what a ripoff! It's <laughs> honest. <laughs> Better grocery supplies align up independent grocery store with purchases and bulls. Hmm? That's the third one, definitely, right? Wholesale, wholesale channel. All right. Yes, it's the same that us. Uh -huh. on very similar, very similar because they buy from others and then they distribute to their stores and then these stores definitely sell to the consumers right okie dokie well you have this um suggestions not quite sure they are still um available but you can check them out right so then which channel is more effective is it a good idea to combine channels to get better results yeah we will have to have business experience to be able to talk about that, right? So we were telling, okay, and somehow we definitely keep with our jobs, work for a company, and we don't dare to go there yet. But if there were business, experts here could tell us, yeah. All right, such a pleasure to start this course with you. I hope we can keep going, keep pushing, keep learning, keep improving. If there's anything else you would like to add now, please let me know before I have the last attendance call. Any question, any doubt? Any comments? No. no? Sure. No question. All right. I'm still alive? Went to bed already? I'm still alive. <laughs> It's still alive. It's still breathing. <laughs> it's all uh, right. <laughs> Tell me. All right. Please stay present. Okay. Oh my goodness. Here. Elizabeth. Abigail Elizabeth. Don. Atilio Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Emerson? Present. Fernando? Francisco? Present. Hazel? Present. Juan Antonio? Julie? Carla? Yes, and teacher. Luis Javier? Luis Miguel? Present, teacher. Present. Saúl? Present. Manuel Alexander? Marilyn? Present. Mario? Present. Roberto Esaú. Present. So yo, Esaú, si lleva tilde. Eh, yes, sí. Ajá, yes. que aquí ninguno de los dos le han yes. puesto. <risa> Las personas que taipearon esto. Ronald Alexander. Victor. And Waldir. Present. Present. Ok. Por... Disposiciones de Insafor of Inglés Corporativo. Le corresponde este día a Abigail Elizabeth participar de la sesión de one on one. Are you available? Abigail Elizabeth. Tell me, please. Thank you. She's gone. <gasps> My goodness. Bueno, entonces. Atilio, the next one. We know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but it's just going to be today. And then the rest of the course, you're going to be gone on time. <laughs> Does Congrats that work for you? Uh, don't feel sorry for him. Is that possible? Yes, yes. Anyway. The others, bye. <laughs> See, See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. God bless bye. you. Well, bye, bye. bye, teacher. <laughs>
Get a new connector. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. There you are. All right, at Helium. Um, Available? Speak Able? Spanish. <laughs> Let's do it into Spanish. I speak Spanish. You want to do it this session in Spanish, one on one? <laughs> yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just just before we switch into Spanish, refresh my mind about your personal information, please. No, no es que la verdad es, fue es mi primera experiencia en, en estar estudiando inglés. Ya tengo varios. Bueno, voy a encender la cámara. <laughs> really? Yes. Ah, pero estás haciendo muy bien. Eh, no, sí. Lo que pasa es que, eh, por ejemplo, ahorita teníamos dos meses de estar parado. Y así hemos venido, o sea, apenas ya vamos para dos años de estar en el, en el programa y, y siento que voy bien lento. ¿Siempre y, lo dejan esperando dos meses? Um, varios, varios, varios cortes hemos tenido así, fíjense. Really? No sé, no sé, no, no sé si porque somos de claro. No, pero, <risa> no, eso te, nadie tiene en contra. Nadie no, tiene nada en contra de claro. No, no, mentira, no es esa. No, no, nadie. No, pero you are siempre, from Sonsonate or you are from Aguachapan. No, yo no, Aguachapan. Really? Yes. yes um, Interesting. City. ¿Y está cabal en la ciudad de Aguachapan? Yes, yes. Ah, pues no, um, con usted no el problema. No. Uh, <risa> from San Salvador. Ah. Okay. No, mentira. No, fíjese que deberían de consultarles. No les han preguntado. No, porque fíjese que nos, de, nos sacaron antes de las vacaciones de agosto. Uh -huh. Hasta ahorita no volvieron a llamar. O sea, ya dos meses. Y, y, y eso, o sea, en mi caso ya, ya tengo bastantes abriles y sí estoy muy entusiasmado, pero a la vez me decepciono porque... O sea, siento que avanzo, pero pego dos pasos para atrás otra vez. Y, y, okay, ya había y el problema es que no no practice, no practice, no no time. It at work tampoco at se puede. Work, um, uh, six o'clock a uh, six p.m. Um, uh, 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 ten p.m. No, no hay hora de salida, entonces este wow. hay hay mucho este como No, 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 este, no, no, no nos quejamos por trabajo, sino que no hay enfoque en, en sí, que no. es el, el curso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, por ratitos, eh, bueno, de hecho yo me quería poner ya de, um, para practicar, eh, eh, aprenderme más, más, más eh, verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. que, que es lo que, no, no tengo una conversación fluida, uh -huh. eh, cuesta, eh, algunas veces tengo que retroceder para recordarme qué es lo que voy a decir. Uh -huh. eh, pero sí tengo mucha disponibilidad okay. Eso sí. muy bien si da la toalla le soy honesto <risa> don't do it bueno <risa> le agradezco por la honestidad sí deberíamos de consultar qué, qué, qué es lo que sucede para tratar de entender pues cuál o alguna otra alternativa con que sea de no, estar de, sí, sí. de escucha o de listener para poder como no perder el hilo, digamos. Es Por lo correcto. menos de, ajá, de que su, su oído esté como más alerta. Yo sí estoy bien en, en el oído, yo estoy alerta. El problema es que algunas veces... Este, eh, al organizar su idea. Ya Ajá. no puedo darle la fluidez, quisiera, Ajá. pero me detiene algo y qué voy a decir y, y ahí ya me detiene. Y, y oh, Luis Miguel, por ejemplo, Luis Miguel ya tiene más tiempo de estar, eh, ya tiene más fluidez, si se da cuenta, Ajá. pero somos compañeros y no hablamos. ¿Y está en la misma agencia? No, 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 nosotros trabajamos. A, 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 And supervise and, and solid route. Huachapan mm. uh, City, Miguel uh, Sonsonate City, uh, una gran distancia. Entonces, sí, no, y Cubal, como andan en sus ocupaciones. Es correcto, es... y es que Ajá. nosotros hacemos que, que hagan. Eh, prácticamente el, el, el eh, uh, topic today. Um, 
de nosotros, entonces uh -huh. prácticamente estamos ahí, eh, pero uh, a través de un distribuidor, ahí wow. decía también, ¿verdad? a través de un distribuidor uh -huh. vendemos, entonces nosotros hacemos que hagan, claro. como que la marca, ¿verdad? entonces uh -huh. es bien complicado porque se fue la señal, ¿Y por qué se fue? Hay que ir a medir. A, a, está enojado don fulanito y por qué está enojado hay que ir a ver. Y, y mira que no está vendiendo el distribuidor. Tiene tantos vendedores malos. Me atabelos y los quitan. <risa> Para que tenga un, más o menos un día a día de nosotros. Sí. Eh, así y es, ya lleva entonces, bastantes años ahí. Nosotros, sí, ahora para ocho años. Sí es, dicho, pero Gatilio. sí, como le digo, o sea, ya que estoy en mucha disponibilidad. Eh, bueno, sí, hay que, hay que consultar. Algo más, dígame usted, ¿qué más puedo hacer? Hay que consultar o sea, para ver qué otras alternativas le dan en caso de que, digamos, que sean disposiciones de eso porque hay que esperar. Y si no, pues, buscar otras alternativas. De, sí, yo sé que el tiempo es difícil y todo, eso, pero... Eso quería... A eso quería consultarle, por ejemplo, uh -huh. ¿qué me recomienda? Porque sí, en realidad hay, hay mucho vocabulario que no lo manejo. ¿Y, que, y cómo por Pues conse ah, conseguir de repente un manual básico. Hay un montón. Internet puede es encontrar... que iba a comenzar de eso. Iba a comenzar uh -huh. por, porque tengo ahorita 100 palabras que... Eh, son básicas, uh -huh. tener, hablar, comer, y esas casi me las puedo, pero el problema es ya conjugar. Sí, no, 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 ajá, buscar, buscar que ya, quizás no tanto solo vocabulario, sino que como más en contexto, ¿sí? Eh, bueno. voy, voy a buscar, igual yo le voy a recomendar los links para que usted los descargue, ah, okay. pueda, ajá, pueda también hacer práctica quizás en lo que maneja, en lo que se movilice de un lado para es otro. Es que sí quisiera más, ajá, porque fíjese que... Ir escuchando es para, correcto, para aprovechar. Para, como que uh -huh. fíjese que quiera, eh, descargué Duolingo <ríe> y, y, y me, me ha ayudado, pero el problema es que no hay espacio para poderse... Ay, detener. no, y Duolingo lo... lo lo trauma uno, le dice, no está practicando. Sí, es correcto, me, sale, me, me tiran las, las, las notificaciones y me dice, sí. tienes tantas semanas. Y Yo le digo, dos... ay, no, perdiste la racha, eres mal estudiante. Correcto. correcto. Pero sí. no le hago caso. No, pero es bueno, es bueno, para, para adquirir vocabulario no, es bueno la he aplicación. No, muchas cosas que eh, aquí sí. se dice así, decía yo, y, y yo, o sea, lo pronunciaba de una forma y, y ahí me lo enseñó a pronunciar de otra forma sí, porque sí, sí. Eh, ah, en verdad hay, hay cosas que uno las lee totalmente diferente sí, ¿no? pero recuérdeme recuérdeme tal vez en el grupo escribe mañana un saludito algo en inglés y yo me voy a recordar que, es que le tengo que compartir este, los links para que okay. uh -huh. Teacher, remember, un gusto uh, bueno, gracias bueno. igual Feliz y noche. nos vemos mañana. Yo soy el primero en todos los grupos. <risa> ¿Qué, ¿Qué le pasa a la Adi a usted? No, 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 ella no la, o sea, o sea, nosotros somos nuevos en el grupo prácticamente. Ah, no la conoce, Ay, yo le iba a decir no. reclámele, porque no, no, no siempre la pasa lo mismo. No, no la conozco, no, y nosotros no ha estado con nosotros, yo como mi primera, mi primer nombre es Atilio, empieza con A, soy el primero. De... No, se salva. Y por eso le dije que Tony no estaba, porque Tony era, es, es también eh, mm. compañía. Entonces, Tony, Luis y, y yo íbamos, vamos, íbamos el mismo. Oh, ya sí. se nos desertaron varios. Y yo, empezamos 10 y ahorita solo estamos tres. Vaya, son survivors. Yes, yes, survivors. Vaya, no Bye. te preocupes, nos vemos mañana. Good night. Gracias, buenas noches. Bye. Bye.